Right now at 9, the case against the man accused of murdering a University of Arizona professor on campus. It's unclear if he'll stand trial or not. It'll depend on the results of a mental competency exam, which is happening right now for this former U of A student who's, who had been banned from campus. Here's True Crime Arizona's Brianna Whitney. At least I fulfilled my mission. Murad Dervish on camera mumbling to himself that he fulfilled his mission in reference to the shooting death of Thomas Meixner, a hydrology and atmospheric sciences professor at University of Arizona. While Dervish seemingly taunted officers during that questioning, he's currently undergoing a different evaluation called Rule 11. A Rule 11 evaluation is not an IQ test. The questions are fairly basic and they are oriented to the criminal justice process. Phoenix criminal defense attorney Jason Lamb says the questions are basic because this test determines basic understanding about what's going to happen at trial. Legally, that means they have to one, understand the nature of the charges against them, and two, they have to be able to assist their own attorney. It was back in October when Dervish, an expelled UA student, is accused of shooting and killing Meixner in the Harshbarger building on campus. Dervish's father said after the shooting, his son had had a violent past and described him as a ticking time bomb. But that still doesn't mean he's incompetent to stand trial. This person has such a significant problem that it is it would be fundamentally unjust to put this person on trial. Tucson criminal defense attorney Louis Fidel says if Dervish is not fit to stand trial, then professionals will work to try and get him to a competent state, which could significantly push back the start of a trial. The restoration process can take uh, a long time too. Dervish also cannot take a plea deal unless he is deemed mentally competent too. So everything in this case is at a standstill until we learn the ruling. And it's all based on conversations with Murad Dervish happening right now, despite his checkered past. The exam doesn't look at the past. It doesn't look at issues, for example, like insanity or childhood trauma in mitigation. It's only focused on the right here and now. Brianna Whitney reporting, if he is deemed competent, it's likely his attorneys would look at a possible guilty except insane defense. They can also consider a plea deal if it is offered.